Hello everyone, it is Saturday, February the 28th, 2015. I wanted to share this book with you. It's called Last Day Events by Ellen G. White. It's a book that I own. It's a book that I regularly read and refer to. And it's a book that just sort of helps me to see some things that are happening in the world. i um, not saying that it's the Bible. I'm just saying it's a resource that I use to help shed some light on some events that are happening in these last days. I highly recommend getting this book if you have a few dollars to purchase it, and I'm going to share a little segment from this book about the large cities, the cities. The original city builders, upon receiving the curse of God, Cain had withdrawn from his father's household. He had first chosen his occupation as a tiller of the soil, and he now founded a city, calling it after the name of his eldest son. He had gone out from the presence of the Lord, cast away the promise of restored Eden, to seek his possessions and enjoyment in the earth under the curse of sin, thus standing at the head of that great class of men who worship the God of this world. For a time, the descendants of Noah continued to dwell among the mountains where the ark had rested. As their numbers increased, apostasy soon led to division. Those who desired to forget their Creator and to cast off their restraint of His law felt a constant annoyance from the teaching and example of their God-fearing associates, and after a time they decided to separate from the worshippers of God. Accordingly, they journeyed to the plain of Shinar, on the banks of the river Euphrates. Here they decided to build a city, and in it a tower of such stupendous height as should render it the wonder of the world. The cities are hotbeds of vice. The pursuit of pleasure and amusement centers in the cities. Many parents who choose a city home for their children, thinking to give them greater advantages, meet with disappointment and too late repent their terrible mistake. The cities of today are fast becoming like Sodom and Gomorrah. The many holiday holidays encourage idleness. The exciting sports, theater-going, horse racing, gambling, liquor drinking, and reveling stimulate every passion to intense activity. The youth are swept away by the popular current. Light has been given me that the cities will be filled with confusion, violence, and crime, and that these things will increase till the end of Earth's history. The world over, cities are becoming hotbeds of ice. On every hand are the sights and sounds of evil. Everywhere are enticements to sensuality and dissipation. Judgment coming on the cities. Terrible shocks will come upon the earth and the lordly places erected at great expense will certainly become heaps of ruin. When God's restraining hand is removed, the destroyer begins his work. Then in our cities the greatest calamities will come. The Lord gives warnings to the inhabitants of the earth, as in the Chicago fire and the fires of Melbourne, London, and the city of New York. The end is near, and every city is to be turned upside down every way. There will be confusion in every city. Everything that ha can be shaken is to be shaken, and we do not know what will come next. The judgments will be according to the wickedness of the people and the light of truth that they have. Oh, that God's people had the sense of impending destruction of thousands of cities now given, almost given to idolatry. The time is near when the large cities will be swept away, and all should be warned of these coming judgments. I'm not saying that We should make hasty decisions or financial decisions that create financial ruin for us. But I will say that if you are living near a very large city and the economy collapses, people are going to be in the streets coming to your place for your food and your money and what you have. And if you are in a country setting or at least miles away from the largest cities, you will be safer. It's just something to think about. Have a little piece of land that you can grow a garden, a place that you can be out in nature and away from the dangers of these major cities. I will also link below to a video, Urban Danger, 
that is also another warning of the seriousness of being trapped in a large city in a crisis. Have a great day, everyone.